Welcome back to Ascend the Dim Valley. So, uh, playing in the first bonus of his year is not at home. So we didn't get a chance to meet them or find out really who they were. Oh, hello. I didn't notice that beam there before. You know what I think? I think that beam should be climbed. So they uh standing room here again. Shit before is that, what's these fireproofs of the mini fire arrows for me? Nope. Does a magic piece have any loot for me? It does not look like it. So, fortunately for me, it's a much dimmer day outside today, so I can actually see a lot better than... Who lights a candle? Who puts this candle here and lights it? Right. Somebody's got to light the candle, trim the wick. Okay, that looks like it ought to open, but... It sounds like it ought to open too. Not open. Aha. Hello. Oh, that's the same door, okay. I don't even know where we are, physically speaking. This is not in the roof, I suppose, in the roof of the tower, at the top of the tower. Mm. Who's just, who has this weird little, very hidden magic throne? Very odd. Well. Is this one open? It is not open. Alright, can I get down safely? Maybe. Best bet would either be those windows or the mantelpiece. Let's try the mantelpiece. Off by the table. <coughs> Ow, ouch. Well, I didn't die. I guess that's okay. And where was the way out? That's the way outside. No, there's a way up. Side higher up. Man, I gonna need a good screenshot of this place. I mean, I really, I really love this this geometric concept, right? Just build it in a big inverted cone and build it out terrace after terrace some of those terraces we could get to and haven't been to I think like uh, that one in the far distance straight ahead it's a really really good concept um, and it's an excellent way to provide a lot of vertical although there's not as much vertical ability to move about as I'd like just because everything's all stone. But where there is verticality, the overlapping terraces make it easy to provide verticality without the uh, constant threat of sudden death by making one small slip. I mean, there's definitely places where you can fall, slip and fall and die. But it's also places where you fall and you just end up on a slightly lower level and it's just inconvenient rather than deadly. Um, 
which is cool. I'm jealous though, though, that I didn't have the thought to make a uh, big mission around a spiral like this. Envious. Good work. You, you know, I don't, I'm not a fan of the cramped. That's a different thing altogether, but uh, it is very good work, all the same. So I want to get down there. Where's the stairs? And it's like this, you know, it's these parts that are cramped rather than the. Uh, Wait, does somebody still alive in here? I mean, awake in here? I thought I'd knocked everyone out. Aww. Wait, is that the important seeming civilian? Things make too much noise. <coughs> is this a th It is not a thief. You walk through the door, that's cheating. You can sleep. Very short. That isn't. That isn't by any chance. What's his, what's his name? First born of the Vizio, is it? Well, apart from that gold bottle, he doesn't seem to have anything in there. What's in this room? Place to kneel and pray to this bass relief? Alright, I guess whatever works for you. Well, nothing in here. How are we doing for loot? 1300, we need 2500, okay. We should probably be okay, we're well past halfway. That's the drawing room, it's not the way out. Okay, we're here again. Uh, there should be a door on the east here, which is the way out. This is where I came in. It's that door I want. So it's kind of a bit north and east and up a couple of levels. I've been up there. That is the door I want up there. Oh, it's just a staircase. Yes, I've been up here. I came out the store. Okay. Hello. Someone's got a very small door. Huh? Well, it was nothing, I guess. Where is this? Are these the uh, miners that were on strike? Yeah, they're carrying pickaxes. Have occupied the basement. <coughs> okay, I was wondering about that because, like, we came down from way down in the valley, and there weren't miners there. Oh god, there's a fixed light. Are they just gonna both see me? What's hey. happening? All right. Hmm. It's quiet now. <sighs> huh? I guess it was nothing. Hello? <laughs> give me a break, Jalen. I inform you of a very important inconsistency, and that's the response you give me? You honestly don't find it the least bit odd that the Vizier uses electric light in that sinister den of his, and not that wondrous gift he's foisted upon the valley? I'm not having it. 
At least with fire, I know the risks I'm dealing with. So these glowstones, like we found at the start, is suspicious. Like this lamp is made of. Interesting. Let's just do that to isolate the noise and from them in case I uh, make noise in here. Nice windows. <clears throat> oh. Who are you and why are you standing outside my doorway? So why do you have a lamp on you? <clears throat> Is that lamp? I'd like to get up there, but I guess I can get up here. <laughs> well, I guess I haven't been down there yet. We're higher up above the cellar now. You know what? I think we ought to investigate the cellar first. Moving around is so awkward because everything is so cramped. Hey, I thought I saw something. Huh. Too many damn rats around here. Yep. <clears throat> Slanted ladders are a terrible idea in Thief because you can't grab them reliably when you fall on them. It's only, it's only set up vertical ladders. Slanted ones are a menace. But, you know, lots of people use them anyway. Mm. I got you now, Tapper. What? Come on out and play. Play? I don't want to play. That looks like a bad game. go anywhere or is it just ventilation? Just inaccessible ventilation. Strange noises coming from those barrels. Oh, hello. Corpse. I guess they killed some people in their, uh, Writing. I have to explore that in a minute. Oh, well, that's not a functional door. So like, okay, what's through this door? Nothing. It's not a door. It looks like a door. <laughs> One day I'll shut up about these these things. <laughs> what is up with this floor? Odd. <laughs> Where am I? I guess it's part of the factory. Hmm. That looks like the uh, material these lights are made of. I guess this is just glowy, glowy light gem dust, right? All over the floor. Probably a health hazard. I'm just going to come down with light gem cancer soon. Impression machine.
I guess the factory is just apparently abandoned because all the work is gone on strike. That actually makes sense. Mixing that. Not a door. Alright, what's out this way? Somebody is out this way. Is that our friend uh, the light we saw a bit earlier? Could be. Guild of Fine Woodworkers. This doesn't help me too much because everything wraps around on itself and I don't really have a good reference which side of the pit we're on anyway. And that's my current My current point of reference is, is pit woods or mountain woods. I guess clockwise and anti-clockwise. Here a second set of footsteps. I wasn't here before. Is there someone else up here? Maybe. No idea where I am. Or where I'm trying to get to. Let's see what's down here, shall we? In my room, there's nothing in there anymore. People have taken my things. <clears throat> I'll have that sharp thing. It looks dangerous, you can hurt yourself. <clears throat> Does look like they've got another knife. Hmm. <coughs> Maybe it's just a. Maybe it's just a stick of some kind. No, it's a chisel. I guess that's an effective weapon. Burnt out lights of glow variety. I'm curious as to what's behind this gate, but I'm not sure if it opens or not. There's passageways between buildings there, it looks like, or chutes of some kind. One of them goes into this building, which I would have thought I would have seen from inside it, but apparently not. Must be the upper floor, okay. That's not a door. Yeah. Just 
I came before that was not a door. And this is where we come to from coming up from the tower, okay. So if we keep going okay, so now I can get my bearings. So right now southwest of the pit and south goes around towards the castle. Doesn't open. How do we get to the upper floor of this building where the uh oh, how about the stairs, Garrett? Have you ever thought about the stairs? Oh, wait, we just came from here. Have you ever thought about not the stairs, Garrett? Maybe not Maybe not the stairs. Well, if the stairs are no use. Maybe anti-stairs. Alright, let's get back on the roof of this place. I wanted to go before. Not a door. <laughs> oh, I'm all turned about. <laughs> well, we got a new place to go and new loot to steal, so I guess that's something. Is that door just open by itself, or is there somebody there? Um, hello? Formal assignment. Common authority. You are obliged to conduct the monthly orders of the domiciles of Vizier, Eulotarian, and Superward Ducre to inform that they are upholding the conditions of the armistice. This includes a visual inspection of the item and an interview of the child in their respective care. You will undertake this order on 12 branch March 834. I know it's a pain in the ass, but at least it ain't hard. Neither of them have failed an order before. They aren't going to fail one so close to the end. Hmm. Vizier Ilkarin is the house we we're in, right? And his firstborn wasn't there, but the other one, Elena, was. The first one's name became a T, and I've forgotten what it was now. Interview of the child in their respective care. So I guess that firstborn kid, G, whatever, must be in the keeping of Super War Duca. Official inspection of the item. What item? What is the end? What is this armistice? What is going on here? Wow, that's a that's a heavy piece of paper. Why did this door open itself? I am exceedingly spooked by this door. More spooked by the fact there seems to be nothing in this room. What is... What secrets does this door hold? What is it trying to tell me? What is it trying to do to me? Okay, well, coming up here hasn't... Well, I guess I can get, keep climbing a bit. I can say coming up here hasn't helped a lot, but... We have not gone as high as we can go. Now, is that wood? That looks like wood. Should zoom in a little and try and be a little more certain. Yeah, that looks... That looks really cool. And indeed it is. Good. <laughs> we'll check that out in a minute. <laughs> Alright, so this is, I guess, the start of Super War Duca's castle? Be a good way in. Very nice. 
Let's see what's in this rope though. There's more of this building that we haven't explored in. What's that bright red light right there? Very odd. Suspicious. Alright, there's guards around. Okay. Don't fail me now, you mental. <laughs> he says... in the house. There's somebody in here. <coughs> well, perhaps they're not coming upstairs. <sighs> you are kidding, right? How many times have we gone over this with him? Tell him, even if he offers to pay the invoice with carrots again, We'll do a little experiment with how good them veggies grow when they're shoved up his ass. <sighs> this is a dispute over the carrots. I wonder if this is that why there was a mine in the carrot patch. Sorry, mate. Oh, well, you got a switch underneath your seat. Before I uh, use that, let's finish exploring your house. Let's go out of the light. The door that's not a door. Let's get a tiny bookcase. Desk. More bookcases set into the walls. I, mean, I, lo I love the little. I don't like how cramped it is to move about. But I do love the, uh, the design here. And more peeling wallpaper. Well, he's got new wallpaper, I guess, ready to go up. Get up there with a rope. I wonder how he's supposed to get up there. I could get up there with a rope if I could get on the rope. And if mentally doesn't fail me, let's try roping on this side. Maybe it'll be easier to mantle. Special hidden away? Yes, more gold. Very nice. <coughs> oh, I didn't think that was high enough to hurt. I am uh, running quite low on health. It's a good thing I'm not playing on the expert, I would be dead already. Just for fall damage, just for incremental fall damage. Uh, I still don't have any more food though, do I? No. Well. So how to get into this guy's house? Ah, oh, through the window. Look at he's got vines growing in, inside. <laughs> hmm, the question is where do I go from here? I suppose I try carefully to get back on my rope and hope it doesn't fail me because ah! when it fails me that's what happens 
What was that I was saying about when you used to fall to your death? Well, <clears throat> I could try dropping down on there, but that would be enough. That's probably enough to kill me anyway. I guess I could jump, try jumping across to the roof. Don't think I can make the far one. <clears throat> Ouch. Well, I survived. I guess I'll have to do. And I'm looking at that house up there. I was wondering if there's a way up there. Let's go back that way. Have a look. There's a ledge. Well, I could jump onto that, maybe, right? Can I get up there? I can. Okay, so I can't go th through these kind of conveyor belty. Can, is this a bad idea? This is a bad idea, right? That's a bad idea. It's not wood, it looks like wood. It's one of those bad textures. Hmm. Well, what have we got here? Just a little window box? <laughs> oh, is that a balcony I've not been on to? I know there's a balcony I have been onto. <sighs> Alright, we can get back. Can't climb that roof. So. Guess there's just a lot of people having a, not a good time in that room. Can I get anywhere by trying to just like edge around this ledge without falling off? Well, I can get in range of that beautiful gold candlestick. Oh. Alright, fine. No damage done. I'm hearing the guard down there. I well, still haven't explored down here, sorry. Really, right? <laughs> so why didn't I do that? That's the carrot patch with the mine. Oh, somebody else dead? No, just a sword on the floor. It's coming this way, it sounds like. I will not rest until everyone else in this entire town is resting. With a lump on the head. <laughs> right. Coming home absolutely twisted with an armful of swords. Hours. <laughs> and a couple of coins, all right. Yeah, don't play your gambling games beside a rack of swords. It's uh, 
Unless you want bloodshed when somebody starts to cheat. Hello. Let's not go the plebeian way, shall we? The storeroom. Well, maybe it doesn't even connect to anywhere else. That looks uh, high enough to hurt, so let's. I have five hit points left after all. I do need to be a little careful about fall damage. Oh. That was not enough for another hit point, sadly. I did hear someone else humming around here. room. Maybe there'll be some food though. It looks like a kitcheny place. Or am I going to be disappointed again? An enormous tin of flour, but I can't eat that. What's wrong with you people? Have you eaten all the food? I oh, know there's... Jesus, hello. Vindry and Cookie Star, I have always appreciated your services and your dual duties. After this recent illness with Glayan, that's the name, however, I insist that his meals be preferred, prepared henceforth in the master kitchen. It is likely the vizier will fabricate all sorts of injustices once his son is returned. We must have as few true incidents as possible. Guess that's Duker. Glayan. Oh, that was up there. I was like, I was trying to pick up cheese and suddenly read a note without realizing it. Yay, hit point! It's dice, not apples. Actually, oh, she's through there. Not through here. Hello. Hang on a second. A gate, but what gate? Something out this way? Well, let's leave it closed until I uh, have to find that key and know when it's opening. Wow, look at this spacious room. I think after everything's been so tiny and cramped, I suddenly find a room with, uh, where there's, you know, the proverbial cat swinging length. And, uh, feels, it feels enormous. It almost feels wrong. <laughs> it's too much space here. It's like, uh, that, that story by Chris and Oskin. Uh, too many, too many different ways to go as well. All right. Yeah, don't, don't, don't really jump up beds. Another flash bomb. Nice. This is it, Bellor. We stuck it out through the bad years, and the super ward noticed. Tells me the pay is better, and the day to day more carefree. You were right to keep at it. Every day that passes, he's in a better mood. The first year was tough, but with the vizier passing audit after audit, you could tell he started to relax. Now he's downright merry most of the time. I only expect honestly expected more anxiety again as the deadline drew closer. Guess he's not worried about whether he'll see her again, just excited for when. Her? I mean, I guess I don't know Glenn. Is that, is that who he's talking to? 
or Elena. Wait. I get it. So Glayan was was the busiest kid, and Elena was Super Wars kid, and they've each got the armistice. They were obviously fighting, and they've each taken each other's kid hostage as part of the uh, you know war. You know wars. You know as a polite form of hostage. The agreed upon exchange of hostageness. So that, as a guarantee against, you know, continuing the unpleasantness. Sounds like a guard now. <coughs> like... I guess I am in the Superwoods house quite thoroughly. Alright, let's see where the secret passage goes because I'm curious and I don't want to forget it. Also, why can't I can see something under the. There's another sword under there, I guess it's not valuable. Hello? Ribcage? And moss and water and fire arrows, how odd. Two swords? Oh, it's one broken sword, okay. This extremely <laughs> awkward corner. All right. Where was the pass? Where was the sick passage? Up here? Does that have to go anywhere, or is it just? <sighs> well, it does seem like it connects to where that lady is wandering around. Here, let's stick a rope in that. Hmm. Not. Okay, get a good angle. And gimbal locked. Problem is, if I stand, I'll have to open that first, right? One metal footstep. Help! Help! There's someone in oh. here! Super Ward Keeper's Key, okay. So I can leave that one there quite happily. Could be useful. Is someone there? <coughs> Guess it was nothing. <coughs> Don't think you can hide for long. One tiny footstep on metal. I don't see anything now. Well, I'm making plenty of noise here without meaning to. I know and, you're around here somewhere. And he's searching, okay. Oh. 
Come out and fight me! Do I really want to though? Again, that's not what I was trying to do. Wait, is this a stair? Is that the circular stairway that I was at before? I think it is. Yes. Right, good to know. There's a way out there. That's where I climbed in before. Okay, so there's a guard at the top, there's a guard wandering around down here who's the one who's currently upset with me. Come on now, come on. I think he's gone inside, but he does come out here. Still searching? Oh, there's somebody else out that way. As soon as I find you, you're. Wow, that guy saw me from all the way over there. You know what, that's a dark corner. I'll do for you. Super ward with a super castle. So I want to actually go and explore those terraces there. And that ledge with the stump as well. I haven't been to that area. So maybe I'll do that before going too high. I don't know. Here now, we might as well explore this place. Oh, that's that storeroom, okay. That's probably the same door I need a key for, and this is probably the gate that the lever opens. It's just, you can't see it from where the lever is, which just seems weird. Oh, that's how I came in. Okay. Oh, that was not a door. All these guards are on the alert again because the place is so tight that the tiniest noise carries for miles and everybody's unhappy. Equally unhappy with me. We don't want to mantle a book. <laughs> Hello, we got a spine? That's slightly creepy. Oh, this brings us around now again. Alright. Wait, does this not go anywhere? I guess this goes down, right? It's... But how weird to have a indoor balcony. I guess it's for guards to sit on. <laughs> Guard post. Or a shrine to the spine. That's what I might say. Okay, so that, um. Where was the staircase? So, metal ducts is really a liability. The staircase is much, much safer pro proposition, much less noisy. So, I expect that's the gate. We'll check in a minute. Uh, let's collect our rope, shall we? Which was not this way. 
What is out this way, then? This just leads to the gate, right? Yeah, okay, four colors. Oh, I see a uh, golden plate out there. Well, I would like to get, I'm not sure how. I think I need to go down. I need to get down there. How do I get down there? I can just step on a mine, but that's not exactly. You know, a good way to keep one's legs intact. Oh, he can see us right now. Back through this guy's house. Been up that way? What does it have? You know what, my good sir? You, uh. Hey! Someone there? Ah, uh, turning around. Got you now! <laughs> Where are my flash bombs? That'll do. That'll do. I don't think I have been up this way. Yo, and you must cease your fretting about the roof caving in. This has been our home for years longer than you've been working in those accursed mines, and those ruined arches whose collapse you so fear were standing for centuries before our earliest forebears arrived. But I and the children will be the first of our line to try and leave if you persist in this cowardice. Demand the vizier reinforces his mines if the risk is so great. No punishment for impudence can exceed the toll of death. Very well. Yeah, 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 you know, you can... Oh, hello. I was gonna say I could put a rope in that, but... Well, I have just saved, I can demonstrate why it's a bad idea. Because, well, okay. It doesn't stick for one thing, but even if it did... The slip of the wall there would prevent it from, um... Actually extending any distance. I can stick a rope in here. Is there any reason to want to? Can't climb the vines to see if there's anything on top of this roof, and I don't think I can get a rope in this. I'm gonna reload anyway. Let's... Yeah, it won't stick in there. All right. However. Did they ever go in that place? Yes, I did. I remember the wooden bowl and spoon. Did I come out this way? I don't recall. <laughs> yes, there was, a, there was a plate here. Right. We're too low down for where I wanted to be, which was... God, I can't... I can't even tell where I wanted to be. But I'm too low down. I need to get back back higher. So, I want to be the other side of that arch. Okay. How do I get up there? I guess dropping down from up there is the easiest way, unless there's a way for me to reach. That's too high for me to jump onto. And there isn't any suitable rope surface. I don't think. Nope. Unfortunate. I'm gonna guess you can mantle a tree. 
And then probably, thanks to new mantle, mantle this ledge that's entirely too narrow, but yeah, okay. Mission impossible without my new mantle, but that's fine. Oh, careful, Garrett. There's a plate. Alright, I can get a rope into that, into there, and from there get onto that side. Do I want to do that? Well, let's stick a rope there anyway and find out. Come back to it. Let's keep climbing up here. Because these are the terraces I wanted to be at. Terrible terraces. And there is a door here. Wait, I've, have I been here? Yep. Well, I can get my rope back here, which I don't need anymore because... Because the stairs are better in there than, than, needing, than taking the rope, so... Alright, and I've been... Down here, I think. Have I? I guess not. Just gonna shot an arrow into a bucket. Hmm. I feel like my safety. What's that rope? Ah! Something, something safety. I feel like for my safety, getting to the rope from here is going to be easier. It's true, but then you fuck up the mantle, that doesn't really help you much. <laughs> Well, I'll take that candlestick. Alright, well, I fear, I think that's everything I'm going to get out of these terraces, right? Okay, so let's get back down. Place says it's the front entrance. There's not even any stairs up here, it's just a terrace garden. That's. Oh no, that's the entrance. Well. Except you can't get there. Whatever. Who am I to judge rich people and their weird architecture? Alright, so I'm guessing that that place with the kid was so as heavily guarded as it was not to stop them getting out because there's some weird kind of deadly kid monster I mean, I haven't ruled that out entirely but it seems less likely now but more probable explanation is that so heavily guarded so as to stop them being rescued by the opposite family and thus breaking the whole armistice they've got going on. But anyway, this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, and we'll resume exploring the, the Duca's mansion, castle thing, uh, next time.